Hello guys and welcome to AVK App Reviews. Today we are going to see an in-depth review of Pure Nexus ROM for Nexus 5. Now the Pure Nexus ROM is based on latest version of AOSP and it also includes the latest layer commits. Now I have tested this ROM with 5 custom kernel. All the stats of 5 custom kernel along with the stock kernel are shown in the video ahead. The Pure Nexus ROM provides latest version of Android that is Android version 5.1.1 and the build number is LYZ28J. Now I am on the latest build of Pure Nexus ROM that is 28th of August build. Now let's move ahead and check out the installation process of this ROM. Now for installation you have to go to this XDA thread. I will post the link for this thread in my description. Here you can find the latest ROM file and also gapps file. You can flash any other gapps file that are supported for Android version 5.1.1. So you have to just flash the ROM file and the gapps file in the recovery and you are good to go. Now we will check out different benchmark score for different kernels. Now I have tested 5 custom kernel with this ROM. Now all the benchmark scores that I am going to show are taken at fully charged battery. So here is the benchmark score for stock kernel. And here are the benchmark score for 5 custom kernel. So as you can see the URL kernel has highest benchmark score as compared to other 4 kernels. Now we will check out the battery performance of the pure nexus ROM. Now all the battery stats that I am going to show are taken after minimum 4 charge cycle. And these are my conditions and usage scenario while I was testing the battery for each custom kernel. So these are the battery stats for stock kernel. So as you can see I have got about 3.5 hours of average screen on time with stock kernel. And these are the battery stats for 5 custom kernel. Now all the kernels are used on a default setting. No tweaks are applied to any kernel. All the kernels work perfectly with this ROM. So as you can see the electroactive kernel has higher screen on time as compared to other 4 kernels. On an average, I have got about 3 hours and 45 minutes of screen on time on each custom kernel. My top 3 recommendations of custom kernel for pure access ROM are First one is Uber L kernel Second one is Electroactive kernel And third one is Blue Spark kernel these three kernels work perfectly and gives you excellent battery life out of this ROM. Now we will check out different customization options available on Pure Nexus ROM. So as you can see, there is a separate section in settings menu for ROM control. Now you can access the customization settings directly from the quick setting menu. Just click and hold on the settings button and you are in the customization menu. Here the first option is lock screen. In this you can customize the bottom shortcuts then you can enable the double tap to slip anywhere feature. Also you can customize the lock screen wallpaper here. Then the next option is notification drawer. Here you can enable quick pull down and smart pull down for quick setting panel. Then you can customize the order of a tile and you can also add or remove a tile as per your choice. Then there are some other options for customization of quick setting panel. Then the next option is Recents app. Here you can find two options for Recents menu. The one is conventional lollipop style and the other is slim recents. You can enable any one of them as per your choice and customize different options for them. I have enabled slim recents. Then next option is status bar. Here you can customize battery style, clock and dead style, 
then you can enable the battery bar then you can customize the icon colors and visibility of status bar icons also you can enable the double tap to sleep feature on status bar then next option is navigation bar here you can enable or disable the navigation bar and you can also customize different parameters of navigation bar like size width and color of the navigation keys you can also enable or disable the navigation ring from here then next option is power menu you can customize different toggles in power menu from here then next option is volume rocker here you can assign different functions for your volume button then next option is app oops here you can manage different permissions for different apps then next option is display here you can customize the lcd density and and you can also enable the expanded desktop menu from here then next option is notification and media here you can customize different notification options like heads up notification and the next option is c lock from here you can apply different settings for c lock the pure nexus rom includes latest layer commits so you can customize your ui by applying different layers so now it's time for the final verdict about this rom the pure nexus rom provides the pure android experience with latest layer commits also the rom is pretty good in terms of customization and the battery performance of this rom is excellent the rom is pretty fast fluid and smooth so if you want to have a rom with aosp base and latest layer commits with good amount of customization and excellent battery life then you must go for the pure nexus rom the pure nexus rom provides all in one package as a daily driver so leave your thoughts about pure nexus rom in the comments below and if you like this video please hit like button below and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more such video you can follow me on my google plus and twitter account thank you for watching my video i will see you in my next video